Welcome back for Operation Lazy Shield. We're touching down for my first XCOM 2 uh, UFO uh, salvage operation. There's a UFO that has touched down because it's lazy uh, after it got tired of hunting us for about four weeks straight. That or the resistance shot it down of a stinger, I can't tell. Either way, it's on the ground, it's disabled, it's not going anywhere. And we're moving in to pick up the pieces, kill the crew, and hock it all for the scrap. Uh, basically, it's what we did every week in Enemy Within, so uh, I should be good at this. Let's see what's going on. Menace 1-5, UFO site coordinates locked in. Move to secure the area, neutralize all hostiles. We're operating in the shadows. God damn. These UFOs got fucking redone in HD. This is cool looking. Good god. Still the same basic design from 20 years ago, but they've definitely made improvements. No more beam doors anymore. They've got real doors now, you might notice. I guess now that the sectoid is more like a human, they know how to use their hands to do things. I don't know. Uh, let's move in and uh, get to work here. Can move in Beagle on the left. On the move. This is a fascinating map. By the way, as someone who loves wintry landscapes, I really love that there's different uh, regions in XCOM 2. You know, like, when you fight in the New Arctic, it's snowy. Once we get around the rest of the world and we're fighting in, like, Africa, it'll be deserty. I think it's really cool. It's really cool that there's that, there's that change of pace, you know? Roger that. I really appreciate that. Good copy. Moving on target. Headed there now. Heading to that location. I've never done this before. This will be cool. Gonna neutralize all enemies guarding UFO. Moving to Overwatch. Roger. Contact. Okay. Two lances and an advent mech incoming. Those suckers got a little bit of a buff since last time I saw them. That's nice. They got some extra armor. So obviously advent's moved in to secure the downed crash site. What do I think of that? Well, let me tell you, I am going to kill the fuck out of that mech for a start. Bone Daddy's back too. Bone Daddy's gonna wanna have a, a crack at that mech. He's gonna wanna get it get it hacking. Get that shit popping. If I move here. Moving to position. Nice and close for an attack. Move ghost on the right. Good copy. Moving on target. Just checking the area out. Let's get Bone Daddy up close over here, I think. Copy that. Jamble on the left. Headed there now. Chad Kilroy. Position confirmed. Up close and ready to attack. And that should be turned. I'm on it. On Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Got it covered. Alright, they're patrolling sideways. We'll hit them right now that they're close to us. Start it with a grenade and then go from there. Should be good. Okay, now Kilroy's got the shred. He's also got a point blank shot on this mech, but that's fine. We'll start it off with Beagle nonetheless. Get some grenadiering going on these chumps, I think. Or do we want to start it with a shard gun shot? No, we want to keep that concealment if we can. Four, five, six. Bone Daddy, what's your shot percentage? You gotta stay ready to haywire it though. So hold on. Let's start off with that grenade, first things first. Fire in the hole! Hello. Good, good, good start. Now let's see what they do. We're in their sights! Oh, Mech's gonna reveal my, uh, my ranger. Whoopsie doopsie. Okay. Now the first thing I want to know is what can you do with Haywire Protocol to this Make robot? At what percentage? Bone Daddy? You're not a very good hacker yet, I don't think. No, not particularly good yet. I wouldn't take those odds at this point. I'd rather just kill the damn thing. <laughs> But kill the damn thing we must, because it is flanking us, so we must ensure it does die. I 
think Ghost can make that happen for me with a 6 to 8. Yeah, goodness gracious. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You're very likely to kill this. And if not, Jamble can finish it off pretty easily. So it might be an idea just to sit still and engage the damn thing. The alternative is to hit it with Kilroy, but that's going to deal 4 to 6 plus Shred. It's not really the same, is it? Well, it will take off four, make it... I think the shotgun's honestly a better better shot here. So if we sit right here and shoot gun... Bang, bang. Okay, you're just gonna die. Thanks, laser sight. Thanks, spooky ghost. Woo! You see that? that was impressive, I'll give you that. That was pretty good. Now we're just gonna handle these two chumps. They can be grenaded, worst case. Best case, we're just gonna kill them up. Now Jamble can take a shoot. Alright, that's not going super hot. That is not good. No, it's not super good, is it? So instead, I'm gonna hedge my bets now, we're gonna take them both out. If we don't kill either of them, we can pistol them. Alright, no worries. Now we'll see if Jamble can hit. One. Target disabled. And miss with the light gun. Unfortunate. Not good. Not particularly good. No. Bring yourself over to the side. Here I come. Obviously, we can't let this guy live. But we've got a hundred on him because Bone Daddy is a professional. Is that because of the accuracy of the weapon? Oh, you've got a scope. Praise the Lord. You've got a plus ten. I don't remember giving you a plus ten. Unless the scope also stacks up the closer you get to the target, but I don't remember that at all. That's supposed to be a plus five scope. You're a cheater, Bone Daddy. Regardless. I appreciate it. You want some more? And they're all dead. Menace one five. We just picked up an outbound signal coming from the UFO. Oh. Some kind of distress beacon. You need to get inside that ship and shut down the signal before they send their whole fleet after us. Fucking shit. All right, shit's getting real then. Tired of waiting around. You know what's funny? People always said something that'd make UFO missions more interesting than Enemy Within is if you made it so that uh, the UFOs took off after a certain amount of time to stop you from just Overwatch camping. This is kind of that. Got it, move it. That's not a window, is it? We can just dash up. Getting it done. Let's get in that UFO, man. This shit just got real. Running. Go, go, go. Here I come. Alright, can we just take a straight in breach? Actually, Bone Daddy. Finally. Move yourself up. Give us a proxy scan. What do you got? Anything? Contacts. What have we got, Bone Daddy? Sectoid. And two troopers. And then we've got. Stun Lancer, Sectoid Stun Lancer by the look of it. Alright, can we get in there now and kill these guys with only three of us? I wonder. One of them's straight up dead to Ghost. The other two may not die to these two, so it's probably better to hedge our bets. Take a half turn here. Solid copy. Just get ready. Closing on target position now. Let's do this. Tired of waiting around. Good eyes, though, Bone Daddy. Thank you. Moving to Overwatch. Overwatch. I'm on it. Let's see where they go. Worst case, this patrol at the back comes left, and we have to take on two at once. Oh, maybe. Ooh, maybe. But that's not a window. There's no windows, so it should be fine. Pop the door. 
Whoa. Now don't blow anything up. Just, just pop the door. There's some supplies we don't want to blow up. Okay, don't go too far to the left of that window because then things will start going wrong. Uh, we'll move Kyori into this position. Order's confirmed. On the move. We'll reveal this pod and we'll get to work on taking Admin him out. As long as they don't run through that doorway, which if they do, I just realized will be really bad for me. Woo! Lucky! Okay. Now, what is the accuracy of your slash? 96. That's pretty reliable, I'm not going to lie. It's also much better damage now with the uh, with the blade uh, being upgraded, so we can we can go in and slash that guy no problem. We just really need to kill these two. Bone Daddy, uh, you'll move in, then we can move in and flank the other guy no problem. Okay, so you're gonna go slash this person. That's happening first. Running, 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 running. Hello. <laughs> Nice little crit melee. How many is that now? <laughs> Somebody's counting for the murder Olympics. Okay, Bone Daddy can move in and start killing like a villain. Uh, and the same with Beegs. Bees can move in. What is this, like alien plants? Disgusting. Uh, bees can move in and start engaging here. Finally. Need to kill this trooper first, obviously. As we do this aggressive breach. Dead. Watch the merchandise. We're selling all of this crap. You can't handle me. Okay, Bone Daddy around the side. Jambo around the side as well. Okay, Bone Daddy across to here. I mean, uh, Jambo across to here. On my way. Bone Daddy. Tired of waiting around. Moves in with a big hit with the mag rifle. Hello. And you are just dead. Straight up dead. Who's keeping score? Okay, that's good. Now Jambo can get into position. Or probably Overwatch is better in this case. Overwatch. Kyori didn't even have to do anything. Overwatch. That's good. Now we can set up a breach uh, for these guys in here. Next turn we can take out that thing. So we want Bone Daddy in position. Let's do this. And we want Jambo in position. And we want our breaching out. team ready to uh, kick some ass. Position confirmed. Let's move already. Let's move already. May as well take your reloads now while you can. I doubt they're going to walk through this door. Back on line. Well, I mean, they can't. We're blocking it. So unless they jump through that window, which seems unlike them, Let's do it. I can't see it happening. Okay, pop it, lock it, Dawn kabop it. Hello. Menace one five, that's the distress beacon. Move in and disable it before the aliens get a bead on the UFO. Roger. Some advent here. I mean, the local advent know about where the UFO is, but they're like the local hicks. No one, the aliens don't really pay attention to them. We found a UFO that got shot down. Yeah, whatever. Sure. Whatever, idiot. Whatever you, whatever you think. Okay, ghost. You're gonna solo handle this guy. Shouldn't be a problem for you. Here I come. Give him the spooky ghost treatment. Man, I felt bad for that one. That was violent. You can't handle me. Very, very much so. Very much true. Okay. Who next? Bone Daddy. On this chump, I think. Bone Daddy needs to hack the thing too. Why not both? Okay, lo los dos. No, no, let's just... Okay, no, let's... Fuck Advent. Let's get the hat going. Dramatically, I might add. Yes! Yes, please. Yes! Hacking stat forever. Alright, the first of my enemy protocol stacks, but not the last for Bone Daddy. I, I'm telling you right now, not the last. I'm in! We've knocked out the alien distress signal. Looks like the skies are quiet. Good. Interesting objective. I wasn't expecting that. Take this guy out if you can. Very good. The mag rifles are a huge leap in damage, as you can see. Chad Kilroy can pop around and start engaging this idiot. Good copy. Moving on target. 
And then that just leaves this chump as well. Let's move up to here. Target position now. You are just like a freebie, man. Sorry. <laughs> Nothing personal. Oh, that's a woman. Still. Nothing Enemy personal. Down. Looks like something over here. Grab that loot, baby. Thank you. Auto loader and expand magazine. Grab that booty. I'm sure the docs will want to see this. And bang. <sighs> Careful. Don't shoot the UFO. It's expensive. I'll get him next time. Oh god. Don't shoot the UFO. It's expensive. How many times do I have to say that? Come on. Okay, then it was just Beagle Rush. Beagle Rush. Here I come. Oh, he's about the power supply on this ship is likely to be a newer variation of the Illyrium core driving the Avengers systems. I was about to suppress him, but then again. Suppressing him is just gonna screw up the UFO. Just uh, take an overwatch instead, maybe. Nah, screw it, suppress him. What if he, one in a million, decides to shoot Kilroy, even though he's probably gonna use a psychic ability? Fuck the UFO! Fuck profits! Kilroy's worth more than money. He's running. Oh, he almost died, too. But not quite. And there comes the zombie. They can't resist. They just can't resist the psychic powers. And that's gonna be that. Must be kind of disconcerting to, like, f first person cap that person and have the zombie just stand up again like, hello. But we're gonna put a stop to that. Unnaturalness. You are very dead with the NES light gun. And that should be that, I think. No longer a threat. Status confirmed. Nice. Accomplished. Not a lot of guards for that UFO, man. Easy peasy. That was a really nice shot from Ghost. That 10, like 10, 11 crit she did was enough to just put her at the top of the scoreboard no matter what happened for the rest of the mission. Looking glorious. I want to see what we uh, won from that one, man. I want to see what goodies we earned. Not a single casualty reported, Commander. I hope all of our deployments go this well. Neck and neck every day. Bonetti's got some catching up to do, but he's still ahead of everybody else somehow. <laughs> Not bad. It's it's kind of like a better, kind of like a better supply raid, really. A way more alloys. Around the same amount of Valerium crystals. About the same amount of supplies, so it's a bit like a free supply raid, really, just with like, way more alloys, I think, which is good because I need those alloys for the Gauss weapons that are about to come out, so that was very well timed. Plus an expanded Magnum autoloader. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And an advent may break down, excellent. Oh, more intel. We will get that at some point. Also, I should take that trooper out of the advanced, uh, we should take Sonic out of the advanced warfare center. Now that there's no one to heal. We'll go ahead and stick him down on the power coil to dig it out fast. Speed it up a little bit. Take it down to 30%. Nice and dandy. Okay. Oops. Let's keep making headway over here of East Africa, I think. Setting course for East Africa. Yes. Advent stifles the movement of resistance resources, decreasing the supplies of the next supply drop by 50%. Ah, Lucky I got a ton of money. Or well, that would be really annoying. It still is annoying, but it definitely could have been more annoying if I was choked for money. Commander, oh shit. Contact has us locked in. 
We have to take evasive maneuvers. Oh shit, I thought we got rid of the UFO. This is, this is a different UFO. Fuck, it was a ruse. It was a bait. Setting course evade. The South African sector. Evade. Holy shit, evade. Oh, I think you did it, Bradford. Nice flying. Strong flying. Clear, Commander. No further sign of the pursuing UFO. Thanks to clever flying. Bradford wrote that briefing. He's also the pilot. Thanks to my clever flying, Commander. We're A-OK. -okay. God, that doom ticker. Every day. Commander. The aliens are still moving forward on the Avatar project. I think I'm gonna have Taking to ride the timer. Taking facility would deal a serious blow to their efforts. We've got an urgent communication Hello? coming in for you now, Commander. Your progress against the aliens over the past month has been significant, Commander. But there is still room to improve if we are going to eliminate the alien threat. See, this is where he starts getting mouthy because I'm letting the aliens get too much Avatar progress. Even though I'm like winning all my missions, he's like, yeah, but the facilities are doing things across the world from you, Commander. Apply yourself. Um, we can't spare intel for hidden event. We have to use it on... We have to use it on the facilities. Please tell me that reduced contact cost thing is still there. Yes, good. We really need that. What's up? How you doing? We're gonna do this deal or what? Reading Where's the drugs? Okay. Regional contact We've broken into located. East Africa. Now we can try to take South Africa. Commander, as of right now, we don't have enough intel to get a solid bearing on the local resistance forces in that area. We need 120 intel, or if we build a uh, towery here, then it can also help us get down there. Um, also, new, new month means we should go check the black market. What's up over here? The market is open. I would love to rush things like Advent Mech Breakdown and Gauss weapons and plated armor, but we need the intel for making contact right now, so we can't. Oh, fuck, I want that so badly. Hopefully before the month ends, I'm going to get that. Aim perception PCSs are rare as hen's teeth and so good. Speed would be great for my scout too. Aim would be so good for Jamble. Ah, I need that shit, man. I need that shit hard. They want our flashbang grenade, viper corpse, and stun lancer corpses. Oh, we can have my damn viper corpses. I don't even want these things. Um, flashbang grenade, huh? You give me 18 for one flashbang. That's pretty good. Yeah, all right. I'll give you one of those. And stun lump to corpses. You're into those, huh? You can have a few of those. Fair enough. I'm gonna hold on to that advanced agility PCS until they're jonesing for it, I think. Apart from that, GG. Okay, so we want to go reduce contact costs so we can make it to South Africa easier once we build the radio relay. So we go here next. Oh, we should check for staff. Setting course for the West Asian corridor. Should check for staff next. Always all these things you gotta do at the start of a month. Or at the start of a supply period. Welcome, Commander. Colette's a scientist. I don't need scientists, no offense. Not what I need. Let's get the reduced contact cost. Avenger plotting new course. That is what we need to stay in the game. Doom, 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 doom. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. On the contrary, I think I might ride the timer on this one. Aha! Intel, please. Yes, neutralize target. These ones are good because if you subdue the VIP, I think you get extra intel. Regardless, reward is 177 supplies and 100 intel. Let's go in and neutralize the target, boys. Setting course for sector 15. Let's get that West intel. Asia. This is exactly what we need. 
Everybody's got the same gear as last time, right? Should be good. If we can take on a medium UFO, we can take on a VIP. Let's go. Sky Ranger deployed. In position for deployment. Resistance is asking for our help in dealing with a VIP said to be working in close collaboration with Advent forces in this region. It's likely the aliens will be providing security. We need to secure the AO and eliminate any hostile contacts nearby. Capture the VIP if possible. If not, take them down. Alright, that's Operation Cryptooth next time and we drop in to capture or kill the Advent HVT. Hope you had a good one this time and until then, uh, continue to have a good one, stay safe. Stay, stay happy. Love you.